Now appearing in the building, up in every ear hole, from 80 year olds to the children. You're here to hear about the heroes and the villains, and save yourself some dollars, yen, and euros from the zeros to the millions. This is a lot of class packed into one podcast. They probably ought to have laws passed, but it's too late to stop the onslaught. Raw blast of compacted, bombastic, five-alarm sass. They're talking AVX, way back to secret invasion. They're talking flying up high in the sky, down to the feet on the pavement. They're reading the pages of every single one of the summer events. So other than Venice, you want to be coming to them when you want the Avengers. They're up inside of your environment with flying iron fists. Giant size goliaths and the tiniest super scientists. Try denying it, but I insist there's other podcasts, but this is Earth's mightiest. EMP, literally MP3, TNT. Young, new, mighty, and secretly Try and I in it, but I insist There's other podcasts, but this is Earth's mightiest EMP, literally MP3, TNT Young, new, mighty, and secretly Try and I in it, but I insist There's other podcasts, but this is Earth's mightiest Welcome to EMBS episode 7, where we shoot the breeze for an hour. Uh, as of this recording, uh, it is July 29th, 2020. And uh, yeah, if you want to get these EMBS episodes as they as they come out, as we record them, you can support us on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash EMPcast for as little as a dollar a month. You can do that. If you want to pay us more money, which I highly recommend, uh, you can get like swag like mugs and custom action figures and sketches and all kinds of all kinds of stuff. Yes, I, I feel like there's there's a, a a point that should <laughs> you should just jump on real early, which is you might really want to do that. Um, to if you want to check out this episode. To be perfectly honest, the world might not be here by the end of this month for you to get it. So you probably want to just get up with the <laughs> Patreon, hear the last episode possibly. We're going to do a good one. And then if we're still here next month, then that's a good sign. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hope I hope this if, if it you know, if things do go sideways, um, I hope the, uh, the scavengers in the wastelands who come upon this hundreds of years from now, uh, are entertained that is and such hopefully a they thought. learn from our mistake that's a beautiful thought i love yeah. it <laughs> yeah and uh if you're not familiar with that voice that's thatcher e cleveland hey what's up people back again they can't get rid of me you know talk I'm, about I'm, bonus I'm... content <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you, you would know that like as of like you know like july 31st or august 1st if you're a patreon <laughs> member but now you have to find out a month later. And or thousands of years. Yeah. yeah. Or hundreds of thousands of years or, you know, the aliens oh. who are deciphering this as they try to figure out what the hell we did. Um, You're like, what's a Thatcher? <laughs> yeah. They're like, that doesn't even, that's not even a name. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Screw this planet. We're out of here. <laughs> I, I can't even keep going the, the bits the bits already deteriorated in my head so you sound, you sound you're sounding farther away bobby too far away yep you gotta get a little closer now get closer what about now <laughs> you actually too sound loud? the same really yep. that's interesting yeah. um yeah well you know mike stands who needs them so i'm working with uh, I'm, I'm trying to make it work here give me in I'm gonna make something happen. All right. I guess for you, I'll turn off the AC. Okay, I'll do it. I'll turn off the AC. Mm. Anyways, uh, this is where we just kind of talk about the things that we're we're into and that aren't Avengers and X Men comics that we normally cover. So, uh, mm. and spoilers, warning on on all these topics, and we'll we'll have it listed in the show notes. If you uh, are worried about being spoiled, hmm. so uh, Thatcher, you're you're yeah. you're new to the show, so uh, you get to go first. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, well, you know, it's funny. I was um, 
I, I was worried that I was going to be running late because I found myself in one of the most irritating situations you can have while playing video games where you're going along and you're like, okay, let me do this one thing real quick and then I'm going to save my game and go because I've got something going on. And then it's just like, okay, let me do this mission and then it just flows you into another mission. And then you're like, wait, let me go back here. And then it's like, oh, it just floats. So it's like for 20 minutes, I'm like, all right, can I just save my game? Can I do that? And because I have severe video game AD&D or ADHD. AD&D is what I played in high school. Um, I was, I'm still finishing up. Uh, I picked up recently uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Picked it back up to complete the story mode. After not touching it for probably about a year because it's quarantine and I'm bored and poor and I can't really afford to like buy new games. So, wait a minute, it's funny because they actually just did, they finally did an update uh, to the Red Dead Redemption to online and some of the, the story mode stuff uh, this week, uh, which is pretty cool. So, I have to reap those benefits. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, that, that's, that's, it's a fun game for those of you uh, like me who have never, like, actually finished it. I love open world games, but it's like when it comes to the story... I end up getting just so bored from doing all of the other things that I just end up letting it go. Like, I don't, I, you know, I'm like, oh, all right, let me, because, like, in this, it's like, oh, let me hunt legendary animals for a few months. And it's like, oh, I'm bored doing that. And then forget that there's an actual story and go on to some other bright, shiny object. Yeah. Thatcher, can I ask you something? You're saying um, video game. You're talking about, like, that's like Miss Pac-Man and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's okay. it's slightly. It's kind of like a Miss Pac-Man two kind of thing. Um, Which it's when she's out in the old west. Definitely more advanced, right? Yeah, like, yeah. totally different. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All new, all new hats. <clears throat> I'm, uh, like, I'm, I've been I'm, playing I'm, Pong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's something to the Spartan minimalist of Pong that uh, you know. Uh, it's, it's quite depressing, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm very when it com- when it comes to video games, I'm very like I will buy a game like right when it comes out if I'm really interested in it. But whether or not I actually finish it, it's really anyone's ball game. Oh, I can I can co-sign to that. I've got games like over five years that I'm still like saying I'm going to play one day, like Metroid Prime Two, which is probably more than ten years, but. Um, I had a trip recently, and yeah, exactly, that old. I I had a trip recently, and I had my tablet on me, and I'm like, okay, well, let me just try to find something to do while I'm waiting, and I found Final Fantasy Tactics, which which is almost like a strategy chess game. Wait, that's not, oh, that's not the Game Boy game. Um, It was on Nintendo. And and this yes, they remade it for Game Boy. I think it's called Final Fantasy Tactics: War of the Lions. But they yeah. um they went back in, they added cutscenes, and they they spruced it up. And when I say that game is so fun, I probably spent like twelve hours on that. Is, twelve hours on that game. Is easily. is Tactics like turn based, <clears throat> or is it like all like real time like uh like Starcraft or War, oh Warcraft? Real real time. Real time, okay. Yeah, so your characters have, like, depending on what class they are, they have certain spaces they can move, certain time for spells to cast, and it's just, but you get so in-depth by creating parties and, you know, getting your armor together, and if you're not careful, your characters can die and really, like, you can lose them, so you have to recruit new characters and level them up if you're not careful, so it is, it, it's a great game. It holds up. I just love it, so like I said, in, like, two days, I probably played 12 hours of that game. It's fantastic Here, here's my thing with final fantasy games is i mean there's like what like 80 of those now uh, like, since, they, since they've done them and none of them none of them are the final one like they just keep making more well, it's like that bull, it's like that bullshit never-ending story can like, we get it even it a little bit yes. more yeah and also i'd like to point out how none of them are actually related in any way <laughs> Well, not entirely true. Certain games have sequels, yes, Thatcher. So, like, 
There's, Ten there's has chocobos, part. you know, about just about everywhere. <laughs> 10 has parts 1 and 2. 13 has like 13, 1, 2, and 3. Um, but besides that, yeah, they are completely separate. Certain character names and like like you said, chocobos and Sid and the people named Sid and different things carry over into all the games. But ideally, there's separate. Sid separate is a game? game. Sid is a thing. Every game oh. has a, Sid, a character named Sid. Um, yeah. Okay. But that game was just so much fun. Anybody can play it. It's really simple, but it's just so in-depth and fun that I'm surprised at how much it still holds up. I think the original came out in like 97 or something. So it's an old game, but yeah, they redid it a couple of years back for the Game Boy Advance or whatever. But I got it on um, my tablet on iOS. Well worth the $10 for it. I, I highly recommend it. I think I, I, I played this game that was that was similar to Tactics, but it was like it was kind of turn based, right? So every person you moved, like you had, and then your enemies moved after that, mm-hmm. you know, and then you fought. <laughs> like I think it was called Ogre Battle. I never played that one. Yeah, it was a Final Fantasy game, or you're just saying that it was like that. No, uh, yeah, it's like one of those turn based like strategy, yeah. uh, like chess type, like advanced. Or like, yeah, advanced chess oh. type of game. The, the old school gamers will remember Vagrant Story. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I don't see uh, so many of these games too. It's like, oh yeah, I know of them because people that I know like got super into them. Like I've got a buddy of mine who is way like every time I log into my PlayStation, he's playing Final Fantasy Online. Like it's like crack cocaine for him. Fourteen. I, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I know you, like, the, the number. I feel like the numbers are essentially meaningless. <laughs> and, you know, because they're just like this one's Final Fantasy eighty-seven, and then next year we're going to have Final Fantasy twelve, and then we're going to do a remake of Final Fantasy eight uh, with better gra- You know, I'm just like, but yeah, I think it's. I think it. What is it? Like fourteen or something. Well, um, I suppose it's meaningless if, 11... if at the same time, like. Crack cocaine is just as meaningless as heroin, right? Yeah. Wanna... <laughs> Eleven was an online one, but that was when I was in college, so I don't think that one is still going. So if it's online, it's probably fourteen. Yeah. Those are the two online games. Mm. Yeah, but he's, he's super. <laughs> Corwin was like, "Oh yeah, I remember you. I remember you, old friend." <laughs> fourteen is the only one I haven't played. I've played all the other. I've pretty much beaten all the other ones except for Eleven. Ugh, you're such a nerd. All I've ever played, uh, I've uh, played Final Fantasy on a Game Boy. That's all I've ever played in. A Game Boy. Like, you know, the original. Well, don't sleep on tactics, and that Final Fantasy VII remake is fantastic. They add so much to the game, it's it's really different than the original as well, which the f- game that just came out is like the first, I think, of three or four parts, so they split the game into think three or four different parts that still have yet to come out so so it's like what? final fantasy 7.2 <laughs> <One. laughs> yeah. wow so 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 marvel's getting into making Point final one. fantasy oh, video games huh? it, it finally got back <laughs> i knew we could do it i knew we could do it we, we did it america we, we brought back it, the point uh, number for we ruined three. we officially ruined but it is a complete complete game you will enjoy it through and through i actually need to go through it again after i finish the next thing i want to talk about but let me throw the mic to bobby i guess all right my, my, i gotta just finish up here with really the segue for me would be corwin how are you gonna bind these final fantasy games <laughs> real question <laughs> uh it's a Easy. Little... Do, yeah. what i used to do yeah, what i used to do with nintendo and nes games I used oh, to record God. me playing on the VCR. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I did that oh, with God. Resident Evil, too. Oh, no. That's... I just got... I could hear the myself dialing into with my 1200-baud modem into the <laughs> local BBS. Yeah. I recorded myself uh, playing Resident Evil 2 all the way through like it was a movie. <laughs> wow. I had to Which, make sure I didn't get bit once, like the entire oh, time, because that would ruin and the I mean, story. That was in service to the to a community. I have no doubt. I, like, I was just literally going and playing the text based trade wars until the sysop would come and be like, "You know, Mo Betta, get the fuck off my line." Like, some adults are trying to chat up in this bitch. Like, okay, later, man. 
So anyway, <laughs> go, go ahead, Bobby. What, what do you got? Oh, my goodness. What do I got? What don't I got? Um, it is so damn hot up in this area I'm in <laughs> right now. I know you guys, that doesn't mean much to you guys when I say it's hot because you're all like, uh-huh, Florida, remember? <laughs> um, but just b- believe me, it doesn't, it's not better or it's not, yeah, it sucks. It's really sucky. Um, you know what I've been doing this week? I've been, uh, re- <sighs> you know, there's a, I, I every once in a while try to do some, um, take some, uh, you know, state of the union type situations, look around what's working, what's not working, what's missing from the overall, uh, <clears throat> the game plan. And, uh, at one point for me, that was, that was comics and that actually, you know, led me to you guys and in some ways, you know, destiny, I think really at, at the end of the day. So when I do this, I'm, uh, often I, I find something really great to do and I've been, um, Getting, I've been getting some musicians together, I swear to God, and there could be some musical output not too far off in the future. And I've been playing like synth instruments. I went into the musical instrument shop today. I came real close to spending money I didn't have on, um, on things that made sounds I would probably only use once or twice. And then I kept myself from doing that and remembered that <clears throat> there's a lot of programming you can do. I got Logic going on my Mac now. Realized that that's a big step up from Pro Tools. I just, I got, I've been Pro Tools brainwashed for quite a while. Um, I could go on like this and nerd out on this until you guys are bored. But that's you know, I'm ready. To, I'm I'm excited about playing music this week. That's honestly, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm. Uh, yeah, it's feeling can, good. Do you have like a Bandcamp thing for you guys, or or like a website uh, for your old stuff? Older stuff? Yeah, yeah. What do I have? Um, I don't have a band camp. But there's some stuff up on SoundCloud, and like, honestly, if you search, um, if you want to hear uh, either of the uh, the bands that I toured with, they're both in. You you can search for them on iTunes or Spotify, and you'll find them. Um, the one is NBFB, or uh, if you were. Which is which stands for No Bud for Bisson. and um, I just I would just ask you to please just don't ask <laughs> just understand that there was no Bud for Bisson. Um The other band that's a kind of a rock, uh, a math rocky, a little bit more jam band than I wanted to admit, but a, a good nerd rock sensibility to it. <clears throat> um, and the other band I was in was a, a hip hop group called Audible Mainframe, and they people uh, liked to make us feel good about ourselves and say, "You guys sound like a mix between the Roots and, and um, Rage Against the Machine." We'd be like, "Yeah, except we're better than that." <laughs> <laughs> is uh, is Mainframe one word or two words? Audible is one word. Mainframe is one word. And then, so you've got a total of two. <laughs> in, in case you need to carry that two. <clears throat> um, yeah, I guess uh, that's a thing I, I suppose uh, I feel good about. It's cool that when I can say, when people say that, like, where's your, like, what's your band camp or whatever, and I'm like, oh, just, yeah, just search, just search in iTunes, bro. It's all good. <laughs> it's kind of a nice thing. <clears throat> all right. Well, uh, my uh, my rec this time will be uh, to to hit on on a, a little political. Sorry, guys, uh, but um, uh, <laughs> I I've mentioned this before in previous e- EMBS episodes that uh, uh, I watch a lot of poli- like progressive YouTube, <laughs> and uh, and uh, it's a really small circle, and one of the hosts that I that I follow, like, passed away. And, oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> so, his name is Michael Brooks. Uh, go to the TMBS. Uh, watch his stuff. It's really good. Fuck, oh, man. So, sorry. 
Did you know him? Like, huh? you no. I didn't know him, but it was just kind of sad. Dude's yeah, like man. 37 and like just kind of yeah. suddenly, suddenly died. And like, there's no reason I should be like choked up by it, but I kind of am. Why? Is there no reason you're a human being? I don't know, because like I didn't know him, you know? But, yeah. but like, uh, if you if you lean towards the progressive side of things, like, and uh, you want to know about like uh, like foreign policy, stuff like that, he's a guy. Yeah. So watch his clips. <clears throat> you not know, I, I, I believe in you, man. So if you say if you say that's the way to go. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's sort of yeah. So you you kind of learn more about like. Like, I mean, we already know that, you know, the U.S. is fucked up, right? But mm. but then, like, kind of learning more about, like, how, like, and like I said, we're, we're all progressive on this show, right? But, like, just, like, learning, like, actually how we're fucking up the rest of the world <laughs> is, a, is a little crazy. And he's, 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 like, he's, what little I know about foreign policy I learned from him. So, the, the uh, that uh, so the, what do we used to say? That moment when, right? Like when you realize that um, privilege isn't just like about uh, like your skin color. It's kind of about your <laughs> Americana ness, also in a way that you didn't really know until. <laughs> yeah, like it's tough sometimes talking to. <clears throat> I I didn't mean to step into your thing yet, but no, it's I, fine. I I actually had a really I was I I was thinking about you a lot last night. I I took an intentional um like uh how shall I say this dinner with a uh, we. Uh, hung out with a, a guy I know who um, is, uh, you know, he's just all in for the other side. Uh, and it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. He's like, he's been institutionalized from a young age. He, like, uh, like I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. In, in the same way that I don't understand really a lot of how people get to that point. So, but I, but what I wanted to try to do was like, uh, we, we hung out and we, we, we talked, you know what I mean? Like let it, let each other talk and didn't fight. We like discussed, um, which was more, I didn't really know if we would be able to do that and like I found that we were able to and that was a kind of a that in and of itself was almost like a revelation like geez maybe maybe there's a little hope here like, that he's not um, I know he doesn't you know, he's not going away from this with any with changes but he also didn't just bear down on me and I mean, neither of us like lost to anger and like it's been a long time since I've seen that <laughs> seen that you know happen to people like I, a lot of the images we're seeing right now yeah, are so it's, much it's, about that ultra clash it's just it's so tough to watch sometimes and yeah it's I don't know it's super rare I mean given the fact that also within this week I like me and Corwin are in a group of <laughs> like in a WhatsApp group with a with a bunch of nerd friends and I told uh, the Trump supporter in the group to go fuck himself. <laughs> so I mean <laughs> So there's as, that. As you, as you should, <laughs> frankly. I mean you know, like it's the thing that's weird for me about the discourse nowadays is it's like, you know, you've got the, a lot of people that are like, Oh, well I mean, we can we can disagree and still be friends, you know, like people can have differences of opinion when it comes to politics and still be friends. But it seems like the core of what's going on politically, for me anyway, goes it, it's beyond politics. You know, politics is like what do you think about the capital gains tax? 
you know, and like what 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 should That's states right. be do, states be, should be doing? It's not. Eh, I don't think these people should have rights. You right. know, like, like that's like to me, that's not politics. Well, it's, you know, like that's like that that goes deeper, and like that's you know, so maybe and maybe that's why like I make a lot of people mad on uh, <laughs> my friends' Facebook pages because I'm at the point where oh, I'm kind no, of intolerant of other people's bullshit. I mean, it's just I'm just you like won't look, let people on Facebook sit quietly and enjoy. <laughs> It's good for you, man. Th- thank- I mean, thankfully, I have cultivated enough, like, decent Facebook friends where I don't have to worry about what they're saying. It's always what their friends' friends are saying. Right. You know, and, like, you're scrolling through and it's like they post an article about something, you know, like, about how, like, hey, Black Lives Matter. And then, you know, some dipshit comes on and it's like, uh, all lives matter like all right here we go yeah yeah man i i mean i can't uh, that there you go like th- to me that stopped being worth my time <laughs> and energy oh, it, on it facebook i had to it let it go should be. I had i had to just i had to withdraw essentially like and it's i don't see it as a retreat as a it's a decision to not like i know where i'm at with these things and i refuse to let my day be every single time, right? Like, drunk. I just won't do it. Like, it's so... I I have found there is an aspect to, you know, non-engagement is a... Like, that's a decision, right? And it's and it's an action. So, it's not enough, right, for, for certain situations. But um, I also... But I do have a kind of, like, a feeling sometimes that there is an aspect of my privilege that requires uh, a, 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 any type of real allyness that I want to show. In some ways, like requires literally non-engagement. Get out of the way for my mm-hmm. friends who want to, you know, go who need who need to go as far as they they can. Let them do that and um, be there for them. But like. There's really nothing for me to say to, you know, I don't know. The, the there's, snooze... no, there's no, there's no like way forward or any, I'm not going to find anybody who I'm going to change them into, you know what I mean? It's just, that, that's a. <laughs> this, the snooze button like... on Facebook is a godsend. Like, snooze, right? yeah, you that's can, you can snooze somebody for 30 days, right? Yeah. And oh yeah. man, I, I, I practically break my finger doing that. Yeah. It's the people that I like, but. I'm just like, nah, dude, your friends are awful. And like, I still want to be friends with you or even unfollow. Like I've unfollowed so many members of yeah. my family, even because like the mom's, my mom's side of the family, like it wasn't until a few years ago that I realized, oh, wow, they're all kind of conservative. And that's uh, not great. Yeah, that's I've what got, it is. I've got, uh, I've got one of those. <laughs> yeah. But then, but what's funny is once you snooze is like, you're just like snooze for thirty days, and you're just like, oh damn, it's been a month already. <laughs> oh my god, it's already you again. Yeah, like, you oh, with a thing. Fuck? This guy, come on. All right. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Thatcher. Uh, go it's, go for round two. Um, all right. Well, you know, yeah, because let's we could we could you know talk about the horribleness of American politics all day. Yes. Um, but one of the things, and I, Viet knows this, um, but when this quarantine started, uh, for no good reason other than my own, like, I'm going to fixate on something. And, oh, God. you know, I, I started, like, I got, like, partly because, like, I, I'm a huge Star Trek fan. Cool. I love Star Trek. Oh Star Trek God. is like one of my favorite things in the world. And for the longest time, it had been, you know, very, very quiet. You know, we had the J.J. Abrams stuff, and that's all right. Um, you know, it got us back to the forefront. But, you know, now with, like, Discovery and Picard, like, when, when the, the first season of Picard, which is amazing, in my opinion. <laughs> I love Picard! It was so, oh, it was so I, good. I, I did the whole Star Wars so good. It was so so much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then it just basically, it was like I, it was, it was like the scene 
in it, it, it like dump like just jumping into in, in, into heaven. It was great. So I and I used to, I used to read a, like I used to go pretty hard on yeah on Star Trek novels. I ended up buying. I have a spreadsheet for them you're, because you're I yeah I bought over the course of a week I bought upwards of thirty two Star Trek novels off of like eBay and Amazon. I mean, last week or 15 years and a week ago? No, this was like a few months and a week ago. Oh, wow. So okay. I have okay. I, I have on my desk, like, and I've made, I've made my way through like about six or seven of them. You know, I'm kind of going slowly. I'm trying not to overload myself. But because the, the biggest bummer to me about the Picard show, because it's like I was vaguely familiar with the extended universe Star Star Trek stuff that they did, because like before the even during the J.J. Abrams stuff, when it became clear that it's like, all right, we're not going to be doing any more like next generation TV shows or movies or whatever. The people who they made a break, the, yeah, they were like, yeah. you know what, we're like we can just do whatever. Let's let's roll, man. Let's do this. Um, but then when Picard came out, what they did, unfortunately kind of obliterated that any of that stuff from ever becoming canon. Wait, so it's a, it's a bummer. Oh, well, the whole, um, I think the biggest is Picard leaving Starfleet. And yeah, leaving Starfleet when he did. Because, um, I mean, the, granted, the Picard show takes place, it's like twenty like twenty three ninety nine in that area, I think. So... Um, and it's about, it's, I think it takes place about like 15 years or so, maybe a little bit more um, from like Star Trek Nemesis, um, which that, to me, that was the funniest thing about the Picard show when they, they talked about like, yeah, you know, our friend Data who died, you know, who died saving my life. I'd be like, yeah, in the shittiest mission you guys ever oh, had. That was a really bad movie. Yeah, I couldn't, and I, I rewatched it recently because I've unwatchable. You know, yeah, it's the, the <laughs> fact that it's the fact that it's young Tom Hardy as 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 clone Picard so is weird. amazing. Yeah, it's so weird. And not, and not only that, I don't know if you saw this in the news, but apparently James McAvoy has said, "Hey, I'll play." A young Picard <laughs> in a Star Trek, yeah. and it's like, dude, get off his dick! Yeah, like, bro. stop! It's like, stop doing younger versions. Like, he's gonna be like, I want to be Hamlet, but I'm gonna oh, be young shit. Hamlet. Can we do like Hamlet when I was young, or like you know, young King Lear when he was just like Prince Lear or something? But but anyway, yeah, like thirty some odd Star Trek novels, some of which I had read in the past and used to own. Um, the all mostly leading up to, um, they did a big trilogy involving like pretty much all the major characters. Um, it's called Star Trek Destiny. And basically it is the final and what was the uh, definitive the origin the of the end. Borg. Ooh. And then like a huge, like, you know, like in the past and the Borg was like, all right, let's go take care of these Federation guys. We're going to send a ship. They're like, wait, they're, they blew up that ship? All right, cool, send another ship. Uh, they blew up that one, too? This time they're like, all right, we better send, send, 100, send, ship. send 100 ships. Send, send 100 ships now. Let's go. So it's basically just like a huge, massive Borg invasion that messes everything up. Um, it has Esri Dax from Deep Space Nine, who is now a captain of an experimental super fast starship i liked her it's yeah it's 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 pretty dope so yeah a lot of the stuff that i bought were books leading up to this you know big uh trilogy that they did which you can find in a big omnibus version like i did for like around 10 bucks but nevertheless the sort of existence of the card yeah it kind of you, you like, feel it, it essentially like wipes it negates well, yeah, a lot wait, of wait. 
right? You know, you, yeah, when you when you look at the times when you know Picard's like, oh, I've been out of Starfleet for this long, um, and like they they go into and they talk about like they still cover the, um, uh, you know, oh yeah, the Romulan star goes supernova, which you know, there's so, so there's oddly yeah. And like they, they, you know, they went into that, but yeah, there's some stuff like what they actually did bring. I think oh, and they also had a, a big arc apparently later on where they did in fact bring data back to life. So that's another big like. Well, I mean, we can't have that. When 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 I saw the, I mean, one thing, uh, another thing that uh, if people don't know me, I loan me some spreadsheets. So when <laughs> when Thatcher started. Busting out the spreadsheets, I was like, oh, "Okay, all right, here we go. What, what are we doing with this?" <laughs> yeah. And then leave it to me to always try to monetize my hobbies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was just like, "Dude, you should write like a blog, like review of all these novels as you read them." <laughs> you know, and, 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 and then and you I, can I, call I, them Thatcher's boldly goings on. <laughs> you know what? I, oh I, still, I still might do Captain it. Captain Thatcher, perhaps. I, you know, I, I I I still may go for that. Um, I would like to call the blog this. I have to take a number two, number one. <laughs> um, but also, I mean, and also coming up, they have the animated comedy series Below Decks. Um, ah, that sounds hilarious. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty dope. So we really are. I am absolutely loving our new sort of like Star hey, Trek concept. Hey, Thatcher. Hey, Thatcher. Yeah. Listen, hit some kid. I gotta tell you something, okay? It's called in Star Wars. All we had was Heir to the Empire for like twenty <laughs> years, okay? Then they made a whole bunch of other shitty books, and then they wiped them all clean by the same guy, J.J. Abrams, okay? Yeah. So let me tell you what: until you lose Thrawn, okay? All right, let's let let's let it go with this. Uh, whoever drove that fast space should be talking about it. these Borg people. I don't know. <laughs> well, they they definitely already brought Thrawn into a. Uh... Canon with uh, yes, he so. sure did. Yeah. So. He sure did. That's uh, honestly maybe uh, my favorite part of <laughs> of anything that's happened in the uh, you know the the revamped. I don't know. I was pretty. Uh, I do. I feel your pain, bro. I was like, it was Star Wars for me, and I not. I not only like sat through being. Bob, you know, it's been like a while since Return of the Jedi came out, dude, and, and it's like not that cool what you're doing anymore. You know, <laughs> to hear about it, and then I was like, "Oh, you guys don't know it's it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's coming back." Here, I have some magazines about in five years. In about five years, guys, are like, just, just don't talk to him. Maybe, maybe this phase will pass. And then, lo and behold. You know, my dreams were realized, and what did I get? Jar Jar Binks and a little brat, right? Like, that that was pretty rough. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, like, all I really, really wanted was it was three books. The Heir to the Empire trilogy, that that was, like, the birth of Thrawn. It was, like, so mm-hmm. badass. That was the that was the continuation they uh, should have stuck with, right? And they... And then they cherry pick, right? Like, so you get this situation where, yeah, of course Han and Leia have kids, but then for some reason they have the new Darth Vader instead of like, I don't know. It's it, it, like if you're gonna you're gonna cherry pick, and for some reason Thrawn is just a a two minute character in a cartoon. Like, is that I don't know. I guess I suppose if um, Ahsoka is coming live action, then maybe anything. Can happen. Well. He had a pretty huge role in that show, and yeah, he had like a, he had a pretty long arc, like all the way through the end of it. And and they left the ending of it well open for something to take place after episode six. So yeah, he's not gone. I, I, I'm. He, he was a cartoon guys. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> and it was a good cartoon, like no doubt. But like Thrawn, it Thrawn was Thrawn is the best villain. Star Wars, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know. I, 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 I'd never really kind of. I, I felt like when I got into the Empire and and those books came out, it was like, uh, 
I, I, that 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 revitalization was uh, I never expected to really get that, and it was more than I could have ever hoped for. And I was, and then you know, holy smokes, Dark Horse is going to make comics all the time. This is, uh, I don't know. It was pretty cool time for me to live through, right? And yeah. then to get those those things wiped clean, that shit really does hurt. I don't think. Um, people in these offices understand what they're doing when they say, well, you know, um, it's not like gone, but, but yeah, it's gone. You know, it's like we're doing this now. It's like, well, uh, this- but you can't call it continuity. And then just like Marvel's somehow able to do it. They keep it all in order, right? Everything happens. Mm, do they though? They sure <laughs> do. They sure do. Otherwise, Corwin wouldn't have a bunch of binds. Yeah, okay. but they also, but they also pick and. I mean, you. you I mean, we're, we're we're definitely picking some nits here, but I'm just I'm just saying, like, like <laughs> no, they're no, abs- like you can't go bro, back okay. to like Spider Man number one and be like Spider Man number one as it was written is exactly <laughs> still in canon today as it was then. It's it, it's not. Yes. They've they've cher- they they've cherry picked. They've you know adjusted people's origins, and I mean I think. You know, yeah, and this kind of yeah. gets into like a larger Marvel versus DC debate. The, the 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 issues that those that those two had, like like DC will be like, I don't know, let's change the whole universe and try and use that as an explanation for changing things. And Marvel is just like, yeah, we changed it. Eat my butt. What are you going to do about it? As somebody, you can curse that. <laughs> as, as somebody who spent multiple hours trying to figure out continuity errors, I can tell you, Marvel uh, is not. Not perfect with what they do. Yeah, well, my work so would be so much easier they, if they were. But yeah, that's the thing. It's like they they just they just like they just kind of soldier on. They just go, yeah, this is this is how it how it is now. It's a it's a, it's a, it's a thought crime thing. Marvel's yeah. like, listen, we've always been at war with <laughs> Latveria. <laughs> we're at war with Latveria. We've always been at war with Latveria. But I mean, I think I, I think the Star, <laughs> getting back to Star Trek, I feel like. I, I hope that, you know, and, like, because we can say what we will about, like, the Star Wars, like, the way they decide, all right, this all is not going to be continuity anymore. But when they when they decide, okay, okay we're going to have movies, things be, yeah, yeah when, when they're, like, going to, like, have things be continuity, they will, like, they've got everybody on the same page. They've got their comics yes. and their books and their movies all in line. And I would love to see Star Trek expand in a way that's like that. That's that's what I was gonna say too, Thatch. Because when Sorry. when they decide to go back to Star Trek and fix the or Star Star Wars, the expanded universe, and bring new things forward, they can improve upon what was there and you know avoid mm-hmm. some of the pitfalls with it. So that is something to look forward to if they bring the things that you love huh. into canon. Yeah, I, I'm gonna um, you know just did uh, sort of come clean here. Like, yeah, I maybe was like a little bit of a closet next generation guy, but there came a time where I made a decision and, like, you know, Star Trek was out of my life, you know, like, you got to break up with one, one of these girls eventually. <laughs> Star See. Trek, Star Trek, I did not take Star Trek to the prom. She was pissed, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I didn't really expect that at the reunion, like last year, <laughs> the 10-year reunion, when she came... She came in as Discovery. I was like, mm-hmm. damn it. Yeah. It's like, oh, man, she got she high. She looks really high. She got real high. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, like that, that's it. Like, that's... Oh, she, she was kind of awkward in high school, but <laughs> now, holy crap. Tried to even pull it together with the JJ thing, and that felt, like, pretty, you know, derivative, because it was derivative. And um, now she's hot. Smart, <laughs> too. Right. She's hot and smart. Let's 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 keep it moving before we run out of time. Um, Is there anything uh, else to talk? About? Thatch, <laughs> your your Red Dead Redemption Two that's on both Xbox and PlayStation, right? Yeah, yeah, it came out like about like two years ago. Like like the Grand Theft Auto stuff, like you can still um, do online um, and play it, you know, online beyond, beyond the story mode. Um, but yeah, they ju- but apparently it had gone a long time without an update or anything new okay. in online until recently. But yeah, it is on you know all your major we, platforms. It might even be on PC. I don't know. 
Okay, yeah, we put the platforms into the stuff we're talking about where people can find it. So yeah. I, I'm going to touch real quick on Last of Us 2, which is on a PlayStation exclusive. I love the first game. I was really looking forward to the second game. And I kid you not, when I felt like, oh, okay, I beat the game. And then I realized that I was only halfway through because they flipped the script. And, well, I don't want to spoil it, but... Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, that's actually, that's one of the games because they had the first one remastered as like a... PS Plus free game, and Is I that finally the game like that stars. Um, you know, uh, Kitty Pride, right? She, uh, she looks like Ellen, Ellen Page. She's, she's oh, it's Ellen yeah. Page. It's Ellen Page, yeah. She's it's Kitty Pride esque. Yeah. No, dude, she she sat for the game. Maybe oh, I don't the know. Second one. I'm, I'm I don't know, but, okay. but it's a fantastic game. But it's it's long. I didn't realize how long it was. Where I actually took a break from it because. They rewind a little bit, and it kind of annoyed me because I wanted to finish the story, but they rewind. So I feel like I'm halfway through the game, which was plenty of hours. That game is long, but it's it is fantastic. I highly recommend it. Another one up yeah. there. The, yeah, the first one um, I, I did. I played that a couple of weeks ago, and it completely defeated all of my ADHD. And I played it like all the way through because it was that riveting and that well done. <clears throat> um. So, Last of Us is your pick, Jordan? Last of Us Two. Last yep. of Us Two. Uh, All right, back okay, to you, Bobby. Here's a segue into whether or not Ellen Page is in fact Ellie, apparently, in Last of Us Two, or what? It's her, anyways. Um, Umbrella Academy Two, our season two drops Friday. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it is. Get it! I can't wait. <laughs> I, I rewatched Umbrella Academy this week. And let me tell you, it's still dope. In fact, I would I would say that it's uh, survived this past year better than most things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks pretty. It, it was good. I maybe even yeah, I pulled a little bit more out of it. Like uh, fives fives arc was tough for me the first time around because what it was hard to figure out what they were trying to say so once you know that he's he's really the linchpin of the family we, say, it makes we, a little we more say spoilers so you're okay we, we said spoilers at the beginning I mean did I what <laughs> well, it, it's like you're saying fives and you're trying to dance around it. You don't have to dance no, around it. No, I'm not trying to dance. I'm not trying to dance around anything. I'm saying okay. he's like he's the linchpin. I was just looking for the word. I'm just fumbling over my own awkwardness. Thanks, Corwin. I appreciate you pointing that out. Um, <laughs> I can't wait for it. I'm excited. And also, if anybody really does know whether or not Ellen Page uh, acted or, or was facially mapped, please. Write us in for Last of Us. For Last of Us. All right. My turn? Yep. Uh, I guess, speaking of Netflix, uh, uh, I'm surprised we haven't talked about anime yet. <laughs> but uh, I started uh, Hunter X, or I think it's just Hunter Hunter, but it's spelled Ooh. Hunter X Hunter. <laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, like I mean, if you like, uh, I mean, if you like one of those, uh, like it's it's very Naruto esque. I guess yeah. would be a good comparison to it. Um, uh, like in basically instead of ninjas, they're they're hunters, right? And hunters bounty is hunters. just like they're, or not not even really bounty hunters. It's just sort of less like a Pokemon. like an all all encompassing like adventurer type name. And then there's like different types of hunters, and uh, right now uh, they're just going through like the the exam, you know, to to qualify to be a hunter. So it's like like I said, very very Naruto esque, but uh, it's definitely older too. I started it years and years ago, but I never really finished it. So. Right, and uh, yeah, so uh, you know, because uh, my my co-host on the uh, Yip Yip live stream on the uh, Avatar show that i do uh he he does his main thing is doing uh a podcast on on hunter hunter and like i remember liking it but i don't remember anything about it so i started watching it now that it's on netflix i've watched like 
a lot of anime, and I cannot sit through that show. It doesn't. I I, I don't think it's. Um, for me, it's the like this, and you run into this uh, every so often with anime that it's just it seems to just meander and have no real central concept. Like I, besides, got to catch them all, and it and to me, it, it, right? Like a, it it feels like a just a. Somebody was like, "Yo, that Pokemon thing's doing pretty well. Can we not, can we bang out another one of those?" You know, and that's what they did. I, I'm biased because that's how I think about all anime in general. Um, oh, and so, I always so and I and they all prejudiced. I yeah, what you're saying. yeah, okay, pretty much. And, I just, it, it, it's, uh, you know, it made me chuckle the whole, like, is it Hunter x Hunter? Because it's like, I, you know, I, I worked at the car shop for mean? years, so it's like, so <laughs> I know, like, I for, for, for no good reason, I know the titles and, like, what things sort of look like um, on anime through, through no, no, nothing that I've done at all. <laughs> like, I know more Pokemon. Like, I watched Detective Pikachu, and... I've never played a Pokemon game or anything like that, but I was able to identify so many background Pokemon in that movie that I embarrassed myself. I'm like, why do I know these things? Like, I can't do long division on paper, but I know that that's a Psyduck. What the hell? What the fuck is going on? How do I know what a Snorlax is? And it took me a week to remember to figure to remember what country they speak Dutch in. It's the Netherlands, by the way. And, the and you don't even have kids, do you? Exactly. No, I mean, I have I have a kid, but she's grown. She never was into Pokemon, you You're know. So allowed to say Holland. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Anime. It's it's adorable. It's adorable with their adorable names. Well, that's dismissive. <laughs> I, you know, I'm sure people felt that way during my entire rant on Star Trek, people that don't give a shit about Star Trek, and that's you know, to each their own. Yeah. Yep. And that's uh, literally why we're here. Yeah. And, and hey, dog, I, I'm here to say uh, you can't, you brought the you brought the thunder. I was <laughs> I picked my nose through it for sure, but uh, somebody liked it, I know. Alright. I, I, uh, I watched Star Trek in, like, only in oh, syndication. Do it again! So. Hold on, Bobby. Hold on, Bobby. Hold on, Bobby. Go ahead, Pete. Yeah, I was saying I only I only watched uh, Star Trek in syndication, so I don't know the conclusion to things. <laughs> so just like it was like part one, and then the next day it was just a completely different episode. <laughs> so just like I don't know how this finishes, but oh well. <laughs> I've only watched the classic. Wait, is that what you meant, Viet? What the, the classic series? No, I watched the uh, Next Generation in Deep Space Nine. But all it was always at syndication yeah. because it was something that wasn't news and we didn't have cable. <laughs> and I, I ended up liking it, right? But, like, again, I don't know the conclusions to any of the stories that were, like, two-parters, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So. All right. All right. Li- lightning round. What does that mean exactly? <laughs> Quick. I'm just kidding. Okay. Quick hit. So who's next? Is it Thatcher. Like Thatch? Uh, quick kick. Okay. Um, if you enjoy uh, really violent uh, period gangster pieces, uh, a couple Ooh. weeks ago, the girlfriend and I sat down and we bulldozed through all five seasons of Peaky Blinders on uh, Netflix. Yeah, um, that's fairly which, graphic. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, 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 it's one of those shows that's been on Netflix for forever, um, and I never really interacted with it, with the exception of going, Peaky Blinders! Exactly. I I was going to do that. (laughs) On my thing. And the best part is that one of the uh, one of the main characters because that's the name of their gang in, you know, 1920s UK, um, will oftentimes be yelling, he's like, this is courtesy of the fucking Peaky Blinders! So, if you enjoy hearing that, or like watching people get shot, um, and then getting really depressed in the last Close season when they talk about the rise of the, the, the rise of fascism in uh, the UK in the 30s, then that's the show for you. Uh, and then, <laughs> and make a very, very light and easy jump into today's multifaceted issues. Um, so I got something for you. What is it? Uh, here's my, my lightning round. Anybody see what the F happened to Bitcoin the other day. 
I'm just telling you guys it was pretty cool. Um, and if you even have a little couple hundreds of a, of a percent of Bitcoin, shit was pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm going to hit on Old Guard, which is on Netflix. It's a movie based off the Greg Rucka comic series with uh, Charlize Theron, and I had a blast with it. It was great. It was fun. I'm definitely looking forward to them making another one if they do, but it's <laughs> kicking ass. Dude. Yeah, they definitely set up for uh, for a sequel, so hopefully they do. I enjoyed it as well. Oh, Me- can I one? One more lightning. Go ahead, Bobby. Okay. Um, yeah, real quick. I I I thoroughly enjoyed actually um, Jack Ryan season one on on uh, Amazon uh, that has what's his name from The Office playing Jack Ryan, and then I watched season two recently, and and just was ugh, totally disappointed. Didn't hold up. It's just oh. they just let it go. It's just it turns into nothing. And that was really disappointing because they were they were kind of doing something pretty. Yeah, they were on a roll. So you can just uh, know that Jack Ryan once again has been uh, like drowned by his own, you know, creators. So tough times, buddy. All right, Viet. Uh, I don't really have anything, so I'm just gonna plug that uh, I started streaming while I make toys. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna plug my Twitch. Oh shit! Uh, Twitch.tv slash comedian viet, and uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna start doing like uh, Sundays, uh, Sunday afternoons, and Tuesdays on Facebook Live. So if you just want to watch me play, uh, uh, play mu- like nerdcore <laughs> rap music while I make toys, then then you should check me out. <laughs> All right, all right. So, Thatch, go ahead and plug your stuff. I'm, I'm, I don't think we really talked about the fact that you are a writer, but go ahead. Yes. And plug your stuff. Um, I, I am a writer, and, you know, funnily enough, I also, uh, I just recently started the Patreon, or as I like to call it, an OnlyFans for Ugly People. <laughs> um, and so you can sign up there. It's patreon.com slash demon weasel. Um, Right. There's a, a short story that's part of an urban fantasy series that I do and uh, a, a uh, comic short uh, illustrated by uh, our own Alex Smith um, oh. is uh, available up on the uh, um, up on the Patreon for free. And then, you know, you can be cool. And when you're, um, you know, when, when you're logging in to check your uh, your EMP stuff, you can just go over and throw a couple of bucks my way. It'll be dope. Um, and then so you can also what, what uh, tier? You know, what tier uh, is the boldly goings on? <laughs> gonna be on. That, that, may, that may end up just being a free thing that I do just to bother people. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure there. Viet was saying, you know, what's his percentage <laughs> yeah, for exactly. title? That's, that's why I'm keeping it free. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can also go to my website, uh, demonweasel.com, or find me uh, on my social medias. Uh, it's pretty much Demon Weasel on everything. So. All right. And listeners can find me at EMPCast on Twitter. Come hit us up. Join our Facebook group. Come hang out and chat with us about anything at all. It doesn't have to be comics. Just like this episode, it could be anything you want. Facebook group. And Bobby, take us out. Where, where can they find you? Uh, um, honestly, I've, I've really been trying to avoid social media, but if you really want to find me on the internet I probably am making some playlists on Spotify under what name Bobby Mobetta weirdly nope. enough nope if, if you if you want to get in Mo- contact with Bobby you have to leave an iTunes five star review <laughs> and that. contact Bobby because that's you know what, what a guy did alright got a gen so till next Bye, time guys. listeners Take care. Watch your face. Wear your mask. Some dollars getting zero from the zeros to the millions. This is the class packed into one podcast. 
They probably ought to have laws passed, but it's too late to stop the onslaught. Raw blast of compacted bombastic five alarm sass. They're talking AVX, way back to secret invasion. They're talking flying up high in the sky, down to the feet on the pavement. They're reading the pages of every single one of the summer events. So other than Venice, you want to be coming to them when you want the Avengers. They're up inside of your environment with flying iron fists. Giant-sized Goliaths and the tiniest super scientists. Try denying it, but I insist. There's other podcasts, but this is Earth's mightiest. EMP, literally MP3, TNT. Young, new, mighty, and secretly Try denying it, but I insist There's other podcasts, but this is Earth's mightiest EMP, literally MP3, TNT Young, new, mighty, and secretly Try denying it, but I insist There's other podcasts, but this is Earth's mightiest